Good morning, beast. Did you sleep good? Did you sleep good? Yeah. Did you? Uh huh. Did you see? Oh, you feel good. Yes. How am I supposed to do any work? Hi guys, my name is Jenna. If you guys are new here, welcome back to my channel. And welcome to a first week with our new puppy video. We're currently on our first full day having this little baby with us. We picked him up yesterday and I vlogged our whole entire first day too, so check out that video. But this is our very first week having Beast. And I'm really just here to show you guys like how the first week goes with this little baby. He's so sweet. It has been such a whirlwind, you guys, and this is literally just our first week, so there's just so much learning to do in general. And I wanted to take you guys along, show you guys the stuff that we're experiencing, showing you the stuff that we're learning, and all of this going through the whole work week. So this is Little Beast. He's an eight-week-old Shih Tzu, and we just picked him up yesterday. For the first few days, we're really just focusing on him learning his name, him being comfortable in his crate and listening to us and like knowing who we are because I do live with my partner, Thomas. We've been listening to so many podcasts about what to do in your first couple of days, your first week. And I would say, honestly, our best resource so far is the Your New Puppy podcast on Spotify. I think it's available on other platforms too, but it is just such a good podcast, you guys. If you're learning how to train a puppy, how to potty train him, how to like actually train him on other ways to and how to get him to listen to you and love you and everything every episode is around five to ten some 20 minutes long but she just goes topic by topic and she's a trainer herself her name's debbie and it is just amazing why are you tired now yeah we just walked around for like 30 minutes so he's probably exhausted so yeah i will show you guys little bits and pieces of our week but welcome back this little boy also slept so well through his first night we have our crate in the living room right here and we have a crate cover and everything so we made sure to give him water around two hours before we put him to sleep and then he slept so well in the crate you guys he didn't whine at all and Thomas and I just woke up I think every two hours to take him out but I think tonight we're gonna try out every three to four hours but we just weren't sure about his first night little beast is the sweetest little boy he's so calm and he's so gentle and he just loves to sleep someone just woke up from a nap did you just wake up from your nap we're gonna take him outside for five minutes to pee, and then he's gonna come back in, play with Thomas, eat some food, drink more water, and then go back to sleep. That's his routine. You wanna go outside? Oh. Beast is just having the best day ever. He did a big poopo outside. Now he's playing in his bed. We're just doing everything to him. My brother-in-law reminded me to groom him and like play with his like nose and his face and his ears so that whenever we have to do it, he gets used to it and that if something's ever wrong, it'll be easy to check him. So we're just playing with him. He's so cute. Yeah, you're so cute. I am just so glad that his first poop, like since he's been here, was outside because I was just getting so nervous. Like, what if he poops in here? Beast, he loves his crate. Where are you going? Oh, hi, sweetie. it's around 10 46 we are not going to sleep but we're gonna like go to sleep according to beast so thomas is taking him out one last time and then we're just gonna do the rest of our work in the bedroom because i think beast can still hear that we're still like working in the living room even though it's bedtime so he just started writing a little bit but we did realize that we also didn't take him out to pee after we had like played with him a little bit at the end of the night so we're trying to stick to our routine and take him out sleep wake up food and water play take them out again 
go to sleep, and then for specifically our night routine, we're finishing up water two hours before we go to bed. We're gonna play with him a little bit to tire him out and then put him in his crate to go to sleep at night, which is what we did yesterday and it worked. He didn't whine at all on our first night, but I think he just can hear that like we're awake. So Thomas is taking him out right now and I'm gonna turn off all the lights and we're just gonna like work in the bedroom so that he thinks that we're asleep and stuff. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he doesn't whine tonight. It will just break my heart and I know you're supposed to ignore it. Like everything that we read and try to educate ourselves in terms of training our dogs is to just ignore the whining or else we're basically allowing them to whine and like rewarding them for whining, which is not what we want to do. So yeah. Well, since it's bedtime, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I have this whole week, but I'm going to show you guys as I'm speaking the screen recording of my notes because Thomas and I have shared notes to just document like every single time he's going out, if he peed, if he pooped if he ate or drank just so we can kind of learn his routine and that he can learn the routine that we're trying to teach him overall this was a really good day we had a really good just routine once i think we struggled a little bit in the morning but once we decided the routine it was pretty easy from there and the goal is to just tire him out so that he sleeps let's just hope that he doesn't whine tonight i'm really nervous but i think he just knew that we were awake okay well i'll check in tomorrow morning good night good morning from beast okay good morning beast slept very well through the night he had a little bit of whining only this morning when he woke up thomas took him out and then we're trying to create this routine where when he wakes up and he goes out he goes back in his crate just for like another hour or 30 minutes or so as thomas and i get ready and yesterday he did really well doing that but this morning he was whining because he just wanted to play but he had no whining throughout the night and it was so so nice he went to sleep later than the first night though for some reason he had so much energy at like 11 p.m even though we tried going to sleep at 10 as you guys saw but we ended up playing with him a little bit tired him out a little bit put him to sleep at around like 11 11 30 and then we woke up once in the middle of the night to take him out and he was so good he peed right away and then he went out this morning and he even did a poo, -poo this morning right He's so small, you guys. He's really squirmy right now, but overall, he's a very good boy. Aren't you? My mom is coming over today, too, to meet him this morning. She has, like, a lunch or something in the area at around 11, so she has some time to come over before and meet him because she loves puppies, too. He's just really energetic this morning, right? Okay, let's play more. Mom's oh. here. Peace. Peace. Oh, he's Hi. still sleepy. Hi. Oh, you're wagging your tail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're sleepy. You're so sleepy. Okay, it's okay. I'll let you sleep. Oh my god, he's so I know. Yeah, you can hold him, Mom. He'll just sleep in your arms. <laughs> Mom is so happy. <laughs> Did, I know. He's like, why am I awake? Okay, <laughs> it's currently lunchtime. Beast slept all morning, including when my mom was here. And then he woke up. I took him out. Yes, you were a very good boy. Now he's eating lunch. And we are also eating lunch. <laughs> My mom is so nice and she dropped off all of this food. She like cut up all of this fruit for us and she made pad thai. Like she made it this morning. Thank you. <laughs> this looks so good. Thank you, mom.
Okay, hello, it is the end of day two and I thought I would just recap the day with you guys. It's honestly really hard you guys training a puppy while working full time. I just like really should have taken PTO to focus on my puppy. I, I think you can do both, but I think because I'm adding like a third layer of filming it and documenting it with you guys, I just can't do all three of them right now. So how about we just recap today? Thomas and I still have the notes that we've been taking all day. So I'm just going to like screen record as I speak about everything. But today Beast did whine a little bit in his crate because we were trying to give him like a morning routine. Wake up, take him out, put him back in the crate as we get ready for the day. And yesterday that worked really well, but today that didn't work so well. He was whining kind of the whole time, I think, because he had a lot of energy. I'm finding that if he's ever whining, it's either because he like has a lot of energy and he wants to play or because he's like scared. But other than that, I feel like his relationship with the crate is honestly really, really good. If he ever falls asleep, which a lot of times he'll fall asleep in his like fuzzy bed, we'll just move him over to the crate and then he'll like stay asleep, which is really good. He did have one accident though. And that was this morning. It, I came back from Orange Theory at like 8.15 and Thomas said that he had been playing with Beast all morning basically. And then I came back and he still wanted to play. So I think like, because it was like a prolonged play, I think that caused him to have an accident by the mirror again. And that's around the same place where he had the accident yesterday, but we used this and I'm pretty sure this is an enzymatic cleaner. So I hope that it was just like a bad chance thing. I hope he's not just picking up that he peed there yesterday. So that happened. But then other than the morning, it was honestly a very, very easy day. He slept a lot of the day and that's because we're really implementing the routine of waking up, like eating and drinking, going outside and then playing for a long time. And like a long time is really just like 15, 20, maybe maximum 30 minutes. One of the times we just kind of like ran around the apartment. Another time we were doing some like leash stuff. Another time we were doing like name association stuff like that or just another time we're playing with all of his toys so I think the point is that you just tire them out so that they want to go to sleep and then you buy yourself time and you can work so I think that was like honestly the most of today I didn't really vlog that much I think I just got like one or two clips of like my mom meeting him this morning and then me working because I just like really needed to optimize like my free time away from the dog towards my nine to five today. Yeah, I think it was a pretty good day. As long as he continues to not whine as we're sleeping tonight, then that will be really good. And then tonight we're also gonna walk him only once in the middle of the night at around like maybe three or four. And I'll show you guys Beast before we go to sleep, but I think that's everything. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. And yeah, that is our second full day. Stay. Yes, good boy. Stay. 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 Good. This is our little routine when he comes back in. Stay. We have little wipey paws. <gasps> yes, you're so good. We'll wipe the back one. And then you're all good to go, sweetie. Okay. Good boy. <gasps> yes, you're a good boy. You did a pee pee. Bye. Come on. Good boy. You're a good boy. <gasps> yes, you are. You're such a good boy. I would say it's kind of chilly. Come on. Good morning. It's seven o'clock. I'm taking advantage of Thomas taking out Beast this morning to vacuum because Beast gets underneath the couch. He just like goes everywhere. And I want to make sure that the apartment is like free of dust as much as possible. So this was kind of the perfect time, but good morning. He slept so good. The last time we took him out was around like 9.30 and then we woke him up at around two to go outside and pee. Thomas did that shift. And then I woke up at around like 5.50 or six to take him out again. And he did whine a little bit after the 2 a.m. pee break, but I think that's just because he thought it was like morning and he had so much energy, but he whined for maybe like five minutes and then he just stopped and went back to sleep. So that was really, 
really good. It's so sad to hear them whine, but you just have to like power through or else they think that they're gonna be rewarded for doing that. Slept through the night after that, woke up at six, went outside and peed right away. Came back in, he had so much energy. I think the whole routine of putting him back in the crate when he wakes up so that we can get ready is just like not gonna work from him because he has so much energy. Played with him from like six to seven. I gave him breakfast and water and stuff too. And now he's outside. So it was a very successful night, I think. Today's also Wednesday where it's my rest day. So I'm not exercising today, which will be really good because I need some time to do some personal things this morning. And having Thomas here is actually like such a big help. It's really fun doing this together, like raising a puppy together because Thomas is so, so responsible. And even with his busy schedule, with my busy schedule, I feel like we're really working together and it's really fun. And he's always wanted a little Shih Tzu puppy. And it's just, it's like so bittersweet for me because I had Timmy, my childhood Shih Tzu growing up. And I seriously loved him just like more than anything in this whole entire world. So it's such a bittersweet, like surreal experience raising another Shih Tzu from a baby. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna make some coffee because I'm so tired and get started with the workday. I've been logging on early and like logging off a little bit later just because I do take more breaks throughout the day to walk him and stuff. Long week, but that's what you gotta do. End of the day, Beast just woke up from a nap. He slept basically all afternoon after lunch, right? And you were such a good boy. Yes, and then he pee peed outside. He did do a little tinkle inside, but I think that's just because he napped for so long. And then he walked all the way back too because we're practicing walking. I got these new treats. These are soft treats from Blue. My mom really recommended this brand. And these are like the soft, moist ones. And I think he likes them. Right? Do you like the new treats? Beast? Yes. Beast? Yes. Okay, part of the name association stuff that I saw online was that you literally just say their name and give them a treat so that they're focusing on you and they kind of like know why. Beast? And then hopefully they'll learn their name. Beast? Beast? Yes. Beast. And that's it. <laughs> He slept so much today. Did you sleep so much today? Yeah, did you sleep a lot? Do you like the new treats? <gasps> yes, I think you do. And then we just got this on Amazon too. This is for the leash because something that we've learned for training, like for potty training is to give them their treat as they're doing their like business outside because otherwise they don't really know why they're getting the treat. If we wait until we go inside, then they think they're just getting a treat for going inside the door. So we got this to put like kibble or treats just on the leash and it should be like very easy to dispense. So yeah, this is really, really nice. We were looking for something like this and it's from Amazon. Daddy's gonna give you dinner. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, dinner time. Oh. He's so excited. Good boy. Dinner time. I literally just took him out and he pooped and I was like, great. Came inside, ran around, pooped again, diarrhea. Maybe it's the new treats. I don't know, but I should have known when he had the zoomies because he literally had the zoomies outside. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Beauty. He loves crinkle toys. He's getting sleepy already. You can feel hot. You can feel sleepy. <laughs> Good morning, sweetie. Good morning, baby beast. Oh, yeah, he's getting sleepy. Because he played all morning, right? And by all morning, I mean the last hour and a half. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> he's 
Yeah, Yay, I like cutie. that guy. I think the best thing about Beast so far is that he loves his crate and he sleeps pretty well through the night. He only wakes up when we wake him up to go outside, but then he pees right away, comes back in, and goes to sleep. Sometimes he'll whine, but the first time he did that, it lasted for like five minutes. And then the second night that he whined, it lasted for maybe like one. So I think he's understanding that we're just taking him out to go outside. No, it's crazy. Yesterday, he slept, fell asleep at 8.30. We took him out maybe 11.30. Mm -hmm. And then he he was like pretty energetic because like he slept early for himself. Like the yeah. night before, he slept at like 10 or 11. Yeah, he like played all evening and then passed out at like 8.30. Mm -hmm. He started crying at 11.30 just a little bit and it just immediately stopped. Mm -hmm. And he knew we were awake too because we were both doing work. Yeah, oh, you're so good. He's so cute. Are you a cutie? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're my baby. It's like 8.20. I honestly like barely got any sleep because I went to bed later than I wanted to and then I had to wake up at 4 to take him out in the middle of the night. Thomas took him out at around 7. But I'm going to leave on the screen right here our summary of our notes from day 3. We're on our fourth full day now, so I think... It's crazy because if this is only the fourth day that we've had him and it feels like we've had him for like three months, but this is only our first week, which is crazy. Oh, yeah. Something that we learned in all of the podcasts and like videos that we saw is that a sleepy puppy is a good puppy. And when our puppy is asleep, we can do whatever we want and we can do like what we need to do. So Thomas is a first year medical student, as you guys know. I work full time in corporate and I didn't take any PTO except for tomorrow. So we really, really just have to like optimize time when Beast is asleep. And it's actually not that bad. Like I feel like I was able to get a lot of work done yesterday because he was asleep a big chunk in the morning and a big chunk in the afternoon. And then I just finished up a little bit later, like right before dinner. So it's been pretty easy to manage. It's not as bad as like I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, I'm like so freaking tired. I feel like you can tell in my voice and I've been awake for like an hour and a half, but I'm gonna start work. I actually have a deadline today too. So I'm gonna finish up my project and stuff. And I think Beast is falling asleep already. It's like his morning nap. <laughs> What an easy life that is. And I'll see you guys later, but good morning, happy Thursday. Finally, it is like three o'clock right now, you guys. I don't even remember when I talked to you guys last, but this day has just been so freaking crazy. The morning was so different from all the other mornings we've had, and I know it's only the fourth day, but guys, it feels like every day is like a month. Like I cannot believe I got him on Sunday. He basically had so much energy all morning when he sleeping in the mornings before. So we were playing with him. He had like an accident. And then uh, we were taking him up and down, up and down because what we've been doing is if we catch him in the act of having an accident, we just immediately take him outside. Even if like he's done by the time we get outside, there's like new dog behavior studies that dogs will really understand more things in the moment, not after the fact or else they just don't understand. When he saw me in the morning, he had like a small little tinkle just from being excited. So I took him out then and then I took him out and then came back in and he got excited again and actually peed. It was so hyper. I think like he just had like the morning zoomies and stuff. <gasps> Come here. And so the whole morning was just like tending to him. And then he slept for the morning for like an hour, played with him again, gave him like lunch and stuff at 1130. And then he slept finally from like 12.30 to 2.30. He had like a good two hour nap. And then we went out and now we've been playing since. Yeah, that's where today has gone. He really likes these little crinkle toys from Amazon, right? All I know you guys is that when he wags his tail, when he sees me, I just feel so wanted and loved. And it's like the best feeling ever having a little doggy wag his tail when he sees you, right? I've basically just been consuming all types of content over and over again on like best practices and like best practice opinions on training a puppy because it is just not easy and I know that it won't happen overnight. But I think I can do the best that I can to try to train him and he's just so sweet. He's very chill otherwise, honestly. He's a very, very good doggy. Yes, are you tired? You're just so cute, I love you. A part of me wishes I was able to document like when he has an accident, but obviously you guys like in the moment, I'm not like, wait, take out the camera. I'm like, oh my God, let's go outside. He's peeing on me. So I think one of them got caught in the act like and I turned it off right before he like pooped inside. I think he's learning slowly. It's only been like four days. So there's that, but we're in Thursday afternoon. Right, sweetie? Yes. What's that? 
Are you a beast? This is one of the enrichment ideas or like enrichment exercises that I saw that helps tire out your puppy is to basically just sprinkle a little bit of kibble throughout either a towel or a blanket or something and have them like find it. And it's supposed to like mentally stimulate them so that they have to like go and find their food. And it helps with slow feeding, tires them out, keeps them busy. Where is it? It is 5.48, baby just ate his dinner. He like scarfed it down and now he's so passed out. And so we're also eating dinner. I am just so thankful for my mom and Thomas's mom for giving us food this week. This really, really helped because we just do not have time to cook. Wanna play a little more with your kibble? Oh. Good morning. Good morning from Beast. Come here. Come here. Yay. Good boy. I just came back from Orange Theory and I took a shower, so I look pretty bad. But we are playing with Beast now. Yesterday was not a good day for this little puppy. He had like three little accidents inside and i feel like i was already taking him out so much but i'm just learning that he's just a puppy like he's a baby he doesn't know how to hold it in as much as i like think i'm teaching him he just simply cannot sometimes good boy okay now that you have his attention beast beast okay anyways like i was saying during the day he had like a little tinkle where he would get excited and oh he would get excited and like tinkle a little bit and then we'd take him out and he'd finish peeing outside. But then he had two full on like straight accidents inside. And then he even peed in his crate, which he really never does. I mean, granted we've only had him since Sunday. So like never is a, is a strong word. I get that. Beast. Yes. Good boy. Peed in his crate at like Almost close to midnight, he had already been sleeping for an hour and a half and we thought that he was like sleeping for the night, but then he started crying and you're supposed to ignore it. But we were like, I feel like he might've had an accident because he was having accidents yesterday. And then he had peed in his crate. Why'd you do that? So it was not a very good night, but after that happened, Thomas took him out and then he slept through most of the night besides the one time we took him out, but no more accidents after that. And no accidents this morning so far so we're really praying for the best something to help that we're doing today is we're just eliminating all like extra treats because we think like maybe one of the treats wasn't good for him maybe we're giving like too many new treats at once so today we're focusing just on his wet food and his kibble and his kibble will be like his only source of treats today right but they're all little food anyways Mwah. I also have off today on PTO, which is really good because I can focus on this little boy. And then when he's sleeping, I have some errands to do, but I'm just going to wait until he's sleeping so that Thomas can study. I can do my errands and he'll take a nap. It is 3.45, Beast just woke up from a little nap and immediately took him outside as soon as he woke up. And he peed outside, which is really, really good. He peed right away too. But this is what he's been doing. He's been wanting to eat the grass. He has his vaccination so he can go outside, but he still shouldn't be eating grass just yet. Somebody actually stopped me earlier today to tell me that like dogs eating grass is fine, which like I believe them, but not when they're eight weeks old. Okay, let's go. Let's go inside. Baby's tired. Good morning, happy Saturday. I forgot when I talked to you guys last, but this first week with my puppy is just really bits and pieces of like when I have free time to even talk during the days. Our sixth full day, and I'll leave, of course, a screenshot of how yesterday went, which was our fifth full day. I think honestly yesterday was a good day, but what I'm learning is that the first week, like there's really not many trends other than trying to learn how our puppy behaves. Like I said earlier, our routine's a little bit different right now. Right now he's eating because we just took him outside when he woke up from his nap. It really just kind of varies on what he hasn't done yet. So the last time we did our whole routine, he woke up and then we played with him. 
because he didn't go outside when we took him out. Played with him for a little bit and then tired him out, went to sleep. And now since it's mid morning, it's time for him to eat because he didn't finish his breakfast the first time we gave it to him. So that's what we're doing. And this morning, since it's also Saturday and the day before Mother's Day, I'm making some desserts for Thomas and I's moms. Since we're going to see them tomorrow, I'm making the Rachel's Good Eats Twix bars and baking this stuff is really my only plan today. Other than that, I'm just gonna stay home and watch the doggy and have a chill day. I'm gonna finish my to-do list that I didn't get to finish yesterday, but I just like had so much to do yesterday. But there's so many other recipes that are included in this book and I really love it. I've bookmarked all the ones that I wanna try. Yeah. What's daddy doing? He's following you. Beast. So cute. Good boy. <laughs> Yay, you said. Good morning. It is officially day seven. We have had Beast for one week. That's actually crazy. Actually, no, it's not. It definitely feels like a week. It feels longer than that. More or less, this is like our first little milestone having him for a week. You want to play with your book? Do you want to play with your book? Oh, ooh, look at all this little stuff you can play with. You guys, this book is literally amazing. I'm pretty sure my friend said that they got it on Amazon, so I'm going to link this. If you guys have a puppy... This is actually amazing. You can hide treats in here. There's a snuffle mat. There's stuff to play with. There's a little squeaky toy. And he just loves it. I feel like this is why he slept so much yesterday. Because it really tires him out. While it's still a toy. And it's so freaking nice. But Beast loves it. Beast was actually so good last night. Because last night on Saturday was our sixth day having him. It was the first time that we ever left him alone in the apartment because Thomas and I went to dinner to meet a friend who was in town. Tried to tire him out before we left, but he was already sleeping, so he ended up actually being inside. You're supposed to always take out your puppy after they play or after they sleep, and we didn't do either of those at that time, but we were just trying to tire him out. So he was pretty awake when we left. And I'm gonna show you guys what the camera looks like. It's so nice because it's on an app and it was like the best seller on Chewy, but it's really nice because it's HD, it's live, you can zoom in and you can see what your puppy is doing like at any time and you can even turn on the sound. You can turn on the sound on their end. You can turn on like the microphone if you wanna to speak to them, which like we don't do. I think it's just really nice to see like if he's whining or not or what he's doing. And he was really good. He whined for a around like maybe 10 15 minutes but then he fell asleep for like the rest of the time and i think that was such a perfect like first case scenario we got really really lucky that the first time we left him fully alone he only cried for like 10 15 minutes and then just slept i'm so grateful because i feel like that was just a total like luck of the draw that he's just really well behaved in that way and he loves his crate because he always sleeps in it and has meals in it has treats in it so Hopefully he knew that like being in the crate was not a bad thing and that we would come home. I was editing this actually this morning and this video is pretty long, but I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing how we've spent every single day, our first week having our new puppy. And I hope you guys found the screen recordings too very helpful of our notes. I think it's really good because I often, and Thomas too, we just often forget like what time we're doing stuff if we don't log it right away. And once we know what those timestamps are, it's just easy to know like, okay, what do we need to do next? Or how long has it been instead of guessing all the time so if you guys also have a new puppy i would definitely recommend it i'm so excited for future puppy vlogs because now we can show you guys like how beast is settling into the house how beast is learning his name and other little tricks and stuff i think that in this first week he's definitely understanding his name and i think he knows 
what we mean when we say like come here come here come play with us which is crazy because i feel like i didn't expect him to learn those things in the first week definitely potty training is a very big challenge and I would just say to any new dog moms or dog dads or dog parents out there that it is just, you could like try to prepare yourself as best you can, but in the end you just have to learn your own puppy and what your puppy is like. So that's definitely a big lesson that I've learned in the last week that I could have tried to prepare as best as possible, but accidents are gonna happen no matter what. And that's just like out of my control because they're literally babies. But I'm really excited for you guys to watch him grow and for him to learn more things along the way. And even just seeing him like fully grown in six months, I think that will be so cool for you guys to see that because he's just like a little baby right now. He's only three pounds. And I just think that's a really cool part of me sharing my life with you guys. You're here for all the life moments, like starting school, moving in together, getting a puppy and all those good things. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video but until then miss you already